Hi guys, welcome to you. Welcome to another Minecraft Money tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to add your very own button to the game. So, before you do this tutorial, I recommend that you check out the last tutorial on custom sounds. Um, the reason for that is because we added the sound for the fence gate. Um, and also... We're going to be using the sound today, so you need to set up your sound handler. So, check out that video. Yeah. So, straight into it. We're going to make our block that extends block button. And that's going to make us want to add some classes. That's going to make us want to add some methods, uh, which is fine. Uh, is it wood? No, it isn't wood. And, like most of our... Blocks need to put in the localized name and then this dot set unlocalized name unlocalized name this dot set registry name new resource and that's all of our basic stuff set up for this so all we need to do is get the click sound and the release sound but there's another method that we can in fact override tick rate method which for wood, uh, well, if we just take a look at this super, for wooden ones, it's 30 ticks, and then for stone ones, it's 20 ticks. I'm going to put it to 15, so it's going to be shorter than a stone button tick. Uh, now, that's practically the tin button done, but we're going to head over to our handlers, and to our sound handler, gonna add the sound so public and like so. Now, what we're gonna do is in our init class in a mod blocks, we need to make our block here so it's a public static block and tin button we're gonna just do tin button equals a new block tin button and where is it tin button um i think this is protected yeah we want this to be public here not protected uh do not mean to do that and we're just going to put the localized name of tin underscore button. We are going to register it like a normal block. So that's just register block. And that's just tin button. And same with the render. We're going to just need to register the render for this. So register render tin button. And like so, we're pretty much done. So before we can actually um, load the game, I need to actually um, play the sound. So play the click sound. So play sound. So world dot play sound. The player. The position. BOE sound handler dot and this is click on the category is sound category dot blocks the volume is 1.0 and that's the same for the pitch and we can just copy and paste this for the release sound but just change it to button click off now for the release sound there doesn't need to be a player so what we're going to do is cast it to an entity player and just going to put null and like so that should all work okay so the game is loaded up so if you go inside of our test world we should be able to now try out our button with redstone so let's go grab our button from our creative tab uh, we need to name it so Let's just go to my language file. Uh, so we can now place the button on the floor. And you can hear the sound. 
And if we go grab ourselves some redstone, we should be able to see that it doesn't last too long. So let's do a comparison to the other buttons. So let's just get this here. Um, redstone. That lasts a long time. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. I am out.